Here are your gap and go trades for the week of May 5th through May 10th. I will also have a gap recap for the week of April 29th through May 3rd. And of course, I'll give you price targets, have the gap recap, and also update the chart. All for the cost of free 95. Hi everyone, it's Dow on the Dow. First up is NEO. We ended the week at $5.57, down 0.36%. This is where we are. To the north side takes us to resistance and a potential take profit area at 576. A gap forms at roughly 584, closes out at roughly 591. Another level of resistance and a potential take profit area as well, 608, 624, and 640. To the south side, this gap is already done. The next target is at support here at roughly 545, also a potential buy-in area, as well as this area at 529 and 512. I do not anticipate us to get to here or here on Monday. That would be a miracle, but you never know. Now looking left, for your gaps, this gap is still in play, taking us down to $4.13, but we are not in the channel, not in the zone, and not even close. Note, we are going upward on the channel, farther away from this gap. Now this gap, I'm going to clean it up because we touched here already. So we gapped down, so I anticipate a gap up to fill. It touched right here, so we are done with this one. And that gap started at, excuse me, on, I should say, Wednesday, April 10th. So this is done, and I like to delete the price so that when I look at this in the big picture, when I do not see the price, I know it has closed out. And that's why I have to go through and clean up a bunch of other ones. So this one, this is the week I'm tracking right here, this upcoming week. So this is the previous week. The last time I looked at price, we, we were at 527. I did that in the middle of the week. And then we ran to 557, oh, that's 558, I should say. All right, wait, it's five, oh, that's the high, got it, whoops. But we closed at 557, but we went even higher there on Thursday at 567. So this gap is done. Now this gap, Whenever I do the gaps from the previous week, I will just extend it only because I don't know where it's gonna to touch and I just kind of get it out of my way. Then I have to go back and clean it up. So clearly this touched right here. So let me clean this up, move, oops, Command Z. You have to, oops, grab it at a certain spot or it just gets wonky. So we touched right here. And that gap opened up on the 19th of March, closed out at 5.54. And note again, we closed out at 5.57. So this gap is done. I'm just working my way from the bottom gaps going up. This gap developed, the small one, on Friday. So this will be in play for Monday, but look how close we are. Of course we're gonna get there. It's only two pennies, off by two pennies. So that'll be easy, but because we have not closed it out, I will mark it out just so I keep myself organized. And then we've got this gap to the upside. I mean, Neo just tanked, but finally we are slowly going up 
to fill all the gaps that flushed us to the south side. So this gap that I extended is still in play. And that gap formed on the 14th. Look at all the trades I have marked out. This is on the hourly here. See, look, on the hourly, we are still going down. So when you play the different time frames, you get different buy and sell signals. So look at this bleeding out. And then, oops, finally, control, command Z, if you're on a Mac. Finally, see this V shape? We're finally making it for hopefully a rebound. So that will take us to 591 and 584. Just mark this out. 584 and there. So that is how I mark out my gaps if you are new to trading and have not done it before. It's very simple. Next one is SoFi. Check your RSI, your MACDs as well. Set your stop losses and your limits to get out if you're just doing quick trades. We ended the week for SoFi at 696, down 0.43%. This is where we are. From here to here, this is resistance and a potential take profit area at 703. I bought in some more shares at 705. Unfortunately, we tanked, but I could have sold out just to start over again and buy you know, at the low spot where I like to buy at negative two, negative three, and negative four, but I didn't do it because I didn't pay attention but I do have some shares still at six and 628. And then I've sold some up here. So ignore, ignore all the horizontal lines. That's for me and my trading. All right, so price targets, 703, resistance, 717, 725, 732, which I do not anticipate we get there. We're too far from that. Support, 688, 681, and should we get to this level, this is definitely a buy-in for me at 674 to work my way back up again. You never know, or you don't know how long it's gonna take you, but that's, that's my style of trading. I wanna buy at a great price in a stock I believe in, or that I think has the potential to turn around. So those were your price targets. Now for your gap recap. This gap opened up this week. So again, I'll start with the bottom gaps. I don't think there are any other gaps to the south side, fortunately. So this one opened up and also touched. So we gapped down. I anticipate to gap up to fill, and it did right there. So we closed on Wednesday. Again, opened on Tuesday. That took us to roughly 704. So that was your sell signal here. This is your sell, sell, sell signal, your buy, buy, buy. These are outliers to the south side and to the north side. All right, we've got this gap that opened up right out of the gate on Monday, the 29th. So this is still in play. We are not in the channel, not in the zone yet, but fortunately we are going up with SoFi, but that will take us to roughly 744 and 786. This is a new gap to the upside, so that's something to look forward to. And then this gap closed out, this gap closed out, and then this gap, I'm gonna have to move everything out of the way here so I can see this. So that's Friday. We finished out this gap on Friday, so that's done. As evidenced by the lack of a price point that I took off, but that's just the recap. All right, and then we've got this one at 820 and this one at 903. So we have many more gaps to go with SoFi because we tanked and now hopefully we see better days ahead. Rivian is the next one. Let me move this. 
Command R, oops, stay, no, it's Option R. There we go, Option R to reset this. Now for your price targets. Resistance at the baseline, middle of the trend, 1012, 1041, 1057, 1072 to the south side. Support, 981, 966, and 950. We are up 2.44% for Rivian. And now for your gap recap. This gap opened up on Tuesday of last week. Closed out at roughly 936. Notice the bounce all the way to here, didn't quite make it, fell back down, grinding along the middle, and then hit resistance, sell off, resistance, sell off. And I'm going to expect either grinding along this line, since we are in an upward channel, or back to support for a bounce and a buy-in. This little gap here is still in play. Oh, sorry, not in play, from the previous week, and then closed out on Wednesday, so that's done at 9.55. And notice how we hit this line and then we fell from where we were that acts also as resistance. Many levels of resistance as I've talked about in other videos. I don't want to go over that right now because these videos, my gap and go videos get very long so I'm going to try to keep it short. But for more details, look at the shorter videos. So this is done. And then this gap is still in play. I'm going to flip this to the 15 minute time frame so you can see this just a little bit better. So this gap that I've been tracking takes us to back to where we were previously, 10.42 and that will close out at roughly 10.62. And then we've got this one. Let me just extend it while I'm here. Okay, and then this one at 11.67. Again, not in the channel, not in the zone for these gaps to the upside, but not quite here yet either for this one. This is the next target, so that could if we continue to go up, that could close out maybe on Wednesday. Fingers crossed. Now for Tesla, ended the week at $15.93, up 0.82%. Flip back to the five minute time frame, option R. Now for your price targets first. 10, oh, oh, 10, 1603, 1611, and 1620 to the south side. 1585, 1568, 1559, and 1550. Now for your gap recap, we have a gap to the south side, still in play down here, but not in the channel, not in the zone, not even close, just something to be aware of. But we are slowly, see if we're going down, you need to see it kind of go sideways for some consolidation and then slowly make our way up. Like right here, you can see the change that is happening. Obviously we can get flushed right back down, but that has yet to be determined. I will mark this right now. That takes us to roughly 1448. I changed that to red to indicate bad, bad blood. Go into the downside. And while I'm here, let's just do this one too. And I think that's the only gap I am tracking. So I have some at 1495. 1555 so I was thinking and I was greedy previously where I could have gotten out before 
to go up to this, but I think I will just get in, get up, and get out. That's, I think, how I'm going to play this with Tesla. I think I'm going to set my price target for 1611, get out, wait for it to sell off and get back to support and go up. And if it doesn't go up again, that's okay. It can run without me. I have a gazillion other trades and other plays that I would like to do. So I'm always trolling. Next one. Oh, wait, I should say the next gap, right? Now I'm gonna flip this to the five minute because as I scroll, I can't go back anymore. It won't let me. So you've gotta to go to a bigger time frame. So on the 15 minute, so we're going up on the 15 as well. So that's nice to see, finally. Okay, this got a little wonky here. Let me clean this up from all the way here. Somehow, I moved some things, touched some lines, and voila, it gets wonky. So that's not correct. Let me just delete that. But this gap is still in play. We gap down, so eventually I anticipate a gap up. But look at this, this started in March on the 5th and we have yet to close it. It's May, what, 6th on Monday. But I don't think we're gonna get there on, well, let's, well, that's on the 15 minutes, so that's not the price, the price targets I give you on the, on, I give it to you on the five. See, now it's getting wonky, I gotta get this off. So we will bounce off this line if we get there or this line. Right now we're just kind of going sideways. So did I give you, I gave you the price targets, right? I got sidetracked. Yeah, I did. But if I didn't, here, roughly 1655, <laughs> 1754 and boom, 1554, which is my old buy in line. And now that has turned into support. All right, this gap, now for your gap recap. So last time I looked at price, when I did the beginning of the week, the 29th, we were at 15.05, now at 15.95. So we gapped here, but let me, we gapped up, so I anticipate a gap to the south side. Let me change the color red. So. This could take us down to roughly 1586, which is obviously a better buy-in price than where we are at this moment at 1593. So this baby gap touched right here when this gap formed, so that's done. Sometimes you have a gap with the inner gap. It gets a little confusing. But, so this gap here, oh no, it touched, it touched right, wait a minute, this is hard to see. Let me go back to the, back out and go to the 30. So we actually, we actually touched right here. So let me clean that up. That touched right here. And this one that formed right here touched right here on this box when that formed. So that is done. And this gap, let me move this gap out of the way. So we touched, we gapped right here. We gapped down, so then anticipate a gap up and we touched right there. And I need to clean this up. Sometimes they're so close to each other that I accidentally move the boxes and that's not good. Okay, 
So let me delete that. Let's just delete that, get out of my face. It gets so messy. And that one is done as well. All right, so I cleaned that mess up and this touched, remember, when I see that gap, I just extend it out. I have no idea when it's gonna touch. Then I clean up my charts on Sunday with you. So you're seeing me do that for the first time. So you can see what I do if you don't know what to do. Okay. That is, oh, we, t yeah, we went even higher up there. So that box touched at, what did I have it at? $15.99. Okay, so that's done. So this is the next target right here, 1641. What's going on? I've had it at 1642. I'll just delete that. Sometimes it's off a little bit with the magnet. You have to be so precise. Okay. I'm happy with what I just did. Then we've got this gap. Watch how I just extend it. I'm just going to take it out here. I have no idea where it's going to touch yet. Although if I extend and we continue, this gap will touch. Oh, see, it's not even giving me the dates. It would be in July somewhere. If we continue in the path that we are headed. See, 23 there. So yeah, I'm vacillating. Do I just trade the price action every day? Not every day, but you know, shorter trades or do I just buy and hold and then just ride it out to here? Oh, it's just, I don't know. All right, Pfizer, I'm gonna quickly go through these. I am staying on one stock too long. Oops, stay on page, option R, reset, five minutes. Okay, this, whoops, this is Pfizer. We ended the week at $27.81, up 0.40%. This is where we are to the north side. 2826, ignore the pink line. 2896, 2933, and 2969 to the south side. 27.52, 27.14, and finally 26.78. Now for your gap recap. This gap is still in play. I will extend it out. That will take us to roughly 25.57. Note we are going in an upward channel farther away from this. So this is something just to be aware of. And then we have this one. And this gap closed to the upside. Again, remember I just extend out. So now I'm going to clean it up. That closed out at 2670. And delete delete. Yay. So now the next gap I'm looking for is 29.08. Let's extend this. Excuse me, 29.08. I'm at 2905 and 3034. And then I think I think that might be, let me go to the 15. Yep, that I think is the last one I am tracking. Because did that one? Yeah, that one closed. Look at that. Look at all the weeks I've been tracking these gaps. I started off with an original gap and then during the, the trade week, new gaps could form. So then I track those gaps, but I don't track gaps all the way to the south side. If they open up, I will note it and show it to you. But for purposes of my gap and go trades, I do not go short and follow them to the south side, okay? Now to Intel, let's go to the five minute.
Ignore the horizontal lines. All right, 27.81, up 0.40% to the north side. 28.24, 28.97, 29.34, and 29.70 to the south side. Support 27.51, 27.15, and 26.79 for your gap recap. This gap is still in play, taking us to 25.57, but note we are going upward. So we are going farther away from these gaps to the south side. This one takes us to roughly 26.09. This gap closed last week. So that gap opened up on April 10th. Sometimes these gaps never close or takes forever to close or they do it very quickly. They open and they close on the same day. You just never know. That's why it's kind of fun to keep tracking, keep tracking the same ones over and over again so you see what's happening and then trade the price action. So where is my next 2905 starts okay the gap starts at 2905 here and closes out at 3034 we're not in that channel not in the zone not there yet getting closer though if we continue to go upward that could that could even get there on monday just touch it it won't close though no way will it close that's going to be a miracle if it does. That's got to be some amazing news. Oh, wait. Did I? Wait, I hit Pfizer. That was Pfizer, by the way. Okay. Oopsie daisy. Because I started with Intel and I flipped it to the wrong thing. Let's go to the five minute. This is what happens when I go over too many stocks. All right, I'm gonna do this one over again, but just to here, 3119, 3065, and 3010. Looking left, this gap opened up last week. Takes us down to 3051. This gap also opened up last week. That will take us to roughly 31.31. And then this gap let me change this out. We are not in the channel, not in the zone for this gap yet. Okay. And let's do this one. And this one. That is a possibility to close this week, on Monday even, Monday, Tuesday. Now the last time I looked at price, it was at 31.88. We fell to support, then back up to resistance, fell back down, back up, grinding along the side. So support will take us to here, but we're so close to this, I think we will even go down to this level. Check the RSI. On the five minute, looks like we are going up, but it will crest and then peak and fall for a potential leg up. SLB, option R, note the bounce, the sell off. Okay, 47.66 to the north side, 47.95, 48.31 and 48.66. 4728, 46.60, 46.25, and 45.90. The gap that I have been following, following for quite some time is this one. It tickled it, got up to this level, but never closed out, and then we started falling down. So unfortunately, we are still going down on the five minute, but to the upside, that's the potential. BABA, option R to reset, ignore all the horizontal lines. 
Now let's first give you price targets. Eighty-one thirty-three is where we ended up 1.24% to the north side. Resistance, potential take profit area, baseline 82.22, 84.03, 84.04, 84.05, 84.06, 84.07, 84.08, 84.09, 84.10, 84.11, 84.12, 84.13, 84.14, 84.15, 84.16, 84.17, 84.18, 84.19, 84.20, 84.21, 84.22, 84.23, 84.24, 84.25, 84.26, 84.27, 84.28, 84.29, 84.30, 84.31, 84.32, 84.33, 84.34, 84.35, 84.36, 84.37, 84.38, 84.39, 84.40, 84.41, 84.42, 84.43, 84.44, 85.76, 85.77, 85.78, 85.79, 85.80, 85.81, 85.82, 85.83, 85.84, 85.85, 85.86, 85.87, 85.88, 85.89, 85.90, 85.91, 85.92, 85.93, 85.94, 85.95, 85.96, 85.97, 85.98, 85.99, 85.100, 85.101, 85.102, 85.103, 85.104, 85.105, 85.106, 85.107, 85.108, 85.109, 85.110, 85.111, 85.112, 85.113, 85.114, 85.115, 85.116, 85.117, 85.118, 85.119, 85.120, 85.131, 85.132, 85.133, 85.134, 85.135, 85.136, 85.137, 85.138, 85.139, 85.140, 85.151, 85.152, 85.153, 85.154, 85.155, 85.156, 85.157, 85.158, 85.159, 85.160, 85.171, 85.172, 85.173, 85.174, 85.175, 85.176, 85.177, 85.178, 85.178, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 85.179, 
okay? As far as the next gap, let me flip this to the 15 minute. Is that, okay, this one is done. See how it touched right here, so let me finish that. But where are we? Oh my goodness. Oh wait, no, right here. This is the last one I am tracking to the upside. That will take us to, what did I show you? 8703. 8703. Yeah, 8703. Now back to the five minute. Again, ignore all the horizontal lines. But if we continue our path, it looks like we are still going up with Baba on the five minute time frame. Nike is the next one. We ended the week at 9215 down 0.28% for your price targets. 93.65, 94.51, 95.36, it's hard to see the next one. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to delete this line. Oh, that's because that's the last one the last line. So, right there. But we've got this gap to look forward to. I'll talk about that in a second. Now to the south side, 9194, 9024, 8936, and finally 88.51. Now for your gap recap. This gap is still in play to the south side. This gap opened up, still in play for this upcoming week. This gap opened up and did it close? Did it touch? Yep, so it touched right here to the upside at roughly 92.25. And then this gap opened up. We're still in play for this one. And then this big, big bopper takes us to $100.78. Should we be so lucky as to reverse and hit that number? That opened up on March 22nd. Still in play. The next one is Baba. Baba, Boeing, I always do that, Boeing. We ended the week at 179.79, up 0.53% to the north side. 180.50, 184.42, 184.50. One seventy six fifty one, one seventy four forty five, and one seventy two forty six. As far as the gap recap, this gap is still in play. Okay, and the gap that I am tracking to the upside is this one, let me make it bigger so I can extend it without making it wonky, 189.49. And then this one at 198.51, and then this one, and then this one. We are not in the channel, not in the zone. Something to look forward to, okay? And Tesla. 
We ended the week at 181.19, up 0.66% to the north side, 183.06, 184.72, and 186.49 to the south side, 179.54, 176.13, 179.20, and 172.65. Now for your gap recap and cleaning up of the charts. Well, first, for this week, the trade, well, I tracked price at 168, ran all the way up here, flushed all the way back down to support, all the way back to resistance, and people took their profits and they ran. Lock it in and leave. They locked in and they left and then back down to support. And now we are here. So that's a nice, a nice move there. So this gap, we gapped to the north side. This touched right here on this red. So that's done. That's done. I know that's done. All right, so this gap is done. Again, remember I just extended out. I never know when I'm gonna touch and we touched right there at 176.52 on Monday, right out of the gate. All right, this is the gap that's, we gapped up, so I anticipate a gap down, filling to the south side. All right. One sixty-eight seventy to the south side. All right, this gap we touched right out of the gate on Monday, so it ended right there to the upside at one eighty-eight seventeen. But look, we cracked down. Okay, and then this opportunity opened up. We flushed down, so I anticipate a gap up when we reverse course. Okay, not in the channel, not in the zone, not there just yet. Okay, and I think, is that the only Tesla one? Oh no, look at this. I'll be showing you this trade for a long time. So we've got one there. We got a baby one there. It's a gap within a gap. We got one here, 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 here. Okay. So go back to my other videos. Oh my gosh, that was the 15 minute. I didn't mean to give it to you on the 15, but obviously you can play on the 15. Darn it. Okay, for the other ones that I just did, I don't know if it was the 15 and I don't wanna do it again because I'm deep into this video. So what I'm gonna do is price targets again on the five, just between negative two and two. So we are here to the north side, 182.95, 179.54, and 176.11. The gaps are the same though. The next one, Apple. My favorite stock of all time. We finally hit some big targets along the way upward here. First, for your price targets, we ended the week at 183.38, up 5.98%, shocking. So, to the north side, on the five minute, 190.03, 193.95, 194.15, the 52 week high was 199.62, so we're not quite there, back at the high. 182.50, this gap is done, so let me move that out of the way. That's just a placeholder until I fix it. 174.51, 170.56, and 166.70. Now for your gap recap, this gap is still in play. as well as this one to the south side, but we are getting farther away from it as we go up. Note, we are going up. So 
161.45 there. This gap developed. We move flushed up, so I anticipate it to touch down uh, go, when it goes down, and it did. Touched right there on Wednesday, so that is no longer a threat to our account. While there are many other threats, so that is a gap up. And I will anticipate it to fill down, unfortunately. But the last time I talked about this stock for the week, 169.30, we ended at 183.38. Obviously, we went higher than that. This gap that I've been tracking, I'll show you this on another time frame in a second. March 4th. Finally closed it out on May 2nd, Thursday. So that's done, and then we ripped up. Okay, there was some good news off of earnings. Reported 9.753 billion. Word on the street was at 90.366 billion, and it ran. Shockingly, can't believe it. Oftentimes they'll have good earnings and then it tanks. You just never know. So the great news about this, I'm gonna flip this to the one hour. I'll show you, I've tracked this so many times because I am deep into Apple. All right, these lines the vertical lines are the weeks that I tracked for the gap and go. So every, well, again, I don't track to the south side. When they open up, I just show it to you. But we filled every gap that I was tracking to the north side. And it started from here, not over here. So remember, this is done here. So I should go back and delete these, but another time. So I am tracking it for this area this time frame, and the last one for me to extend, wait a minute, let's just, so this gap, I have to do this on the five minutes so, so that it can line up properly, but, well, before I do that, let me just show you this one. This is the last gap that I've been tracking as price was falling and now it's reversing course and it touched right there. Look at that. Boom, 186.89. And then we ended at, for uh, the day's range, 187. So done and donner. I know that's not a word. Okay. Now, unfortunately, since we gapped up, you know what happens. We're going to fill on the way down and there will be a downside. You can bet on it. I've been in Microsoft, well, I'm in that one too, Apple for so long that I feel like we always give it back. We eventually give it back to get it back again. But what goes up must come down. What comes down does not necessarily get back up again, but sometimes you have to get down to get back up. I know, it's funny, but it's true. Look at, look at the chart. Just look at the chart and you'll see what I'm talking about. It could take a while to get there, but eventually it does. Now, again, this one still to the south side, but I'm not tracking the gaps to the south side. So I'm done with this one. I'll track it for myself. Unless you want me to track it for you, then I'll I'll do that at a later date, but I'm done with this for my gap and go trade. So I will find you another one, which I have here, but the last one I'm gonna go over is VTI. For your price targets, 255.53, 257.09, and 258.64. 252.51 for support, 249.35, 247.84, and roughly 246.28. Now for your gap recap, ignore all those lines. I was looking for other gaps to the south side, but I think that's it. 
there have been plenty that have closed out as I have been tracking this. All right, this gap was still in play from the 26th of April. So if I extend out, boom, we touched right there. 249.51. Okay, and delete that as well. And this gap opened up, we gapped up. I will anticipate it to gap down when we reverse. And then this gap, 256.75, still in play to the upside. Okay, so that is a look at VTI. I'm still in this trade for my mom. I don't think I'll ever get rid of this one for her. It can just collect a dividend and I'll be happy because I got it at a pretty good price for her, I would think. But anyway, that's something to look forward to there. So now I need to give you a replacement for Apple and that will be, can you guess? I don't think you can. Tilray. There's a gap to the upside. I'll talk about that in a moment. We ended the week at 210, up 3.96%. I forgot to mark out the price, 210, switch the color. All right, to the north side. This is the gap that I'm gonna be tracking for the week. I think there is a possibility. I think we'll definitely touch it on Monday, could but close it out, I'm not sure. All right, so this, I'll give you the price targets for the regular chart, 238, 252, and roughly 266. Okay, to the south side, support is where we, okay, if we're here, we go down, this turns into resistance back up. We're hitting re resistance levels back down into support up, down, and then because we were here, this turns into resistance. So we could grind along here following the path of the middle of the trend and the baseline or just go up. But what does the RSI tell me? Going up with some room to breathe before cresting and falling down. All right, so I will anticipate some movement upward, which is why I think it'll touch this, but I don't know. Nope, that's, it's hard to tell when it'll touch, but I don't know when it's gonna close. But it starts at 234, closes out at 247, and that's the only one I'm tracking for Tilray. And I'm putting it on here because I think touching it is very doable because I like to look at between negative two and two standard deviations all day long. And again, set your sell limits if you wanna just take the emotions out of trading, getting in, getting out, repeating the process, trolling for a better price or new ETFs or tickers, and set your sell limit anywhere, you know, turn on your VWAP for targets to get out, or Bollinger, your Bollinger Bands, your moving averages, your Fibonacci retracements, whatever you play, MACD, your bots, don't forget the bots, those are very helpful too. But that is a look at your gap and go trades for the week of May 5th through the 10th, and I'll have, I'll make some more videos and check in on these tickers in the middle of the week, see what's running, see what's bleeding out. And I wish you a great trading week.